Hey folks, Todd Rowe, Pioneer Product Agronomist in Eastern North Carolina. Wanted to come to you and talk to you about stink bug feeding on early season corn. Feeding of stink bug happen early V2 to V3. Uh, they pierce the stalk, puncture the leaves. Uh, you can see this plant here in the foreground is devastated by stink bugs. It's tillered out, growing point was damaged, and this plant will not survive. It will not make an ear, and it's basically a weed at this point. Back here you see another feeding, significant feeding on the plant. This plant may have a chance to make it, may, it may come out of it, but the chances are not real good. You can see the holes in the leaf from the stink bug feeding. And one other significant thing about feeding for stink bugs is the halo effect around the holes. You see the parallel holes where the stink bug pierced it when it was in the whirl, and that yellow halo effect around the leaves around the holes show where the stink bug fed. Feeding can happen V2 to V3 as I said. You need to get out and scout early and six or less stink bugs per 100 plants, no treatment is required. If you get a sample of seven to 12 stink bugs per 100 plants, you need to sample a few more locations in the field to see if you reach treatment level. 13 or more stink bugs per 100 plants requires treatment. That treatment level is very significant and causes damage throughout the field. Typically, there may be a little worse around the edges, so you can start scouting on the edge of the field. And if you do not see much damage or much stink bugs on the edge of the field, you do not need to typically go across the field and scout other places. But if you find stink bugs around along the edge of the field, you do need to go out throughout the field and scout the whole field. Again, those treatment levels are 13 or more stink bugs per 100 plants. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.